Here's an easy way to put all your images on the same page and size them correctly. All right, so first thing, what I do to make gang sheets is just open up the images that you want to create the gang sheets for. So just go ahead and select all the images. So while it's loading the images in, I can start already editing. And I'm gonna just click on the image that I wanna choose. On this side, over here, I can choose the size of the image. So if I need this one to be four inches or five inches or whatever I need, need it to be, I can set it for that size for and I can do that for each individual image. And so if I'm gonna put these all on the same sheet, I'm just gonna set them around. And they could be different sizes. Here's how you get these all on the, on the same page. So just go ahead and just right click anywhere on the actual page. And it'll bring up this automatic nesting. And you'll just go to auto nest all content. And what this will do is it's going to put everything it can fit onto the same page. So if there's room for it to fit, it's going to put it on that page. And that's how you'll get the gang sheets. I mean, uh, it works great with the next the neck labels. So just adding the copy. You can probably fit more. I like to leave a little bit of space in between the the DTF prints just so that way I can cut it easily using the paper cutter. And then once you have it, once you have your thing set, just go ahead and uh, spool it. And then you can choose the amount of prints that you need for that for that. So if I needed 10 copies of that, I can make 10 copies and it'll just print them as is everything set. I won't need to change anything. And that's it. That's pretty simple. The easy way to create gang sheets for your DTF prints just by using the auto nest feature in the DTF rip.